factor in the wind chill, and it is really, really cold out there. A very frigid start. It's another morning here in southern New England. Patrick, in this uh, well, record cold uh, February 2015, where the temperatures are below zero most spots. It's one below Providence, six below. Coventry, eight below in Smithfield right now, in Taunton at 11 below zero. Gloucester's at seven below. New Bedford now two below, and Westerly and Ninigret both below zero. Add in the winds and the wind chill values this morning, running between 10 and as much as 20 below in Taunton, 15 below in Providence, 11 below in Newport, eight below Smithfield, 21 below in Worcester. The National Weather Service actually dropped the wind chill advisory for most of our area. Very frigid this morning. Uh, the criteria is that you have to have those wind chills at around 20 below zero for several hours. And we're not thinking that that will be widespread, but it is plenty cold out there, cold enough that you want to take some precautions, maybe limit your outdoor time early this morning. Certainly wear some extra layers uh, and try to cover up as much as you can. So that's the reason for the threat tracker future cast being up in the medium category. Very cold afternoon, but a dry one. Our threat tracker is low. And then tonight, we have some snow in the forecast between, uh, say, 11 o'clock this evening, most of it over with before 7 a.m. on Wednesday morning. We are looking at some accumulations. They look minor, but some slick roadways and difficult travel, especially uh, leading into that early morning commute tomorrow around this time. It will be tricky getting into work and school. Radar is quiet across Rhode Island and southeastern Massachusetts right now. Here's another look at Smithfield at 7 below. Warwick coming in about 2 below. Another site here in Coventry reporting to above. Our temperature future cast 7 o'clock this morning. We're getting into the positive range, but still single digits. The afternoon temperatures only in the teens for most of us. 18 Providence, 17 Newport, 17 in New Bedford. Temperatures in Boston around 19, 13 on the Cape. We won't cool much early this evening as the clouds roll in and we approach our next storm system uh, that'll pass well to our south. The temperatures actually rise through the night. So 10 o'clock in the evening, we're up to about 20 degrees and climbing into the low and mid 20s early on Wednesday morning. Temperatures Wednesday afternoon will come in at around 30 degrees. Let's take a look at the snow in the forecast for tonight. Here we are at 7 o'clock this morning showing mostly sunny skies. That continues right into the afternoon, so 3 o'clock nice and quiet for us. Increasing clouds through the evening hours. Here we are at 10 with a leading edge of snow starting to approach our area and moving into through the overnight before pushing offshore by about 6, 7 o'clock on Wednesday morning. So we get a little burst of snow, especially while we're sleeping overnight tonight. Amounts by Wednesday morning 1 to 3 inches across Rhode Island. You head from fall River and New Bedford points east to Cape Cod up to Boston, two to four inches of snow expected. Seven day future cast, though a high near 20, but that's this evening uh, for the t temperature today, 18 overnight tonight. Uh, Wednesday's high near 32, dry during the day. Thursday, back to the very chilly weather, a high near 20. And again on Friday, Saturday morning starts very frigid and ends up dry. And then as we look ahead to the end of the weekend, fading sunshine Sunday, a chance of rain and snow by the evening and night. Looks like it'll wind down early 